Okay. Let's go over what we've got. Counter changes are pretty bad. Why? I think it's important, actually, Dave. Because the reason, um... The reason that the... Hold on, I'll just talk about it when I get to it. I, I've thought about... I've thought about this stuff already, just from the brief amount I've read. Okay. So, there's a test going on tomorrow. I'll, of course, stream tomorrow. It's not Friday, so I'll stream. Let's see. New map. The Raid on Aberfell. I thought there was a game mode called The Raid. There might still be in the future. But... Uh, not yet, apparently. Same thing with the Highlander subclass, where it seems to just be going to Devastator, but hey. New map, new weapon. You can now throw shit. New VIP character. Uh, that, whatever. Ten new face paints. Oh boy. Thanks. Two new armor sets with nine variations in total. I'm really glad that they specified that way and not like... When they were like, hey, we added 35 new customization options, and 25 of them are shields. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank you, Torn Banner, for uh, actually specifying. Two new character voices. Okay. Some new weapon skins. You can throw shit. You can throw other shit. Warbo, less arrows. Probably a good good idea. I haven't run out of arrows with the Warbo until like for like 10 minutes straight. Rapier, the special attack turn rate has been reduced. Okay. First person now ducks a little bit more. Tw they tweaked it a little bit to make it a little bit better. Alright, uh, this does not address any of the rapier's problems, but by all means, Torn Banner, you go right ahead. Halberd, all damage values increased from 5 to 10. Fucking delicious. Thanks. This is the good one. This is what I'm happy about. Executioner X. Reduce slash from 50 to 45. That's... I don't really care. That's fine. Uh, so the thing was, I heard this was a thing. I heard this buff was going to happen. Um, I did not know if it was going to be the heavy slash or just the normal slash or both. It doesn't reduce the heavy slash, so I think it's fine. I think this is fine. This isn't really a big deal. This, not a big deal. The Executioner Axe will live on. Explain the Halberd buff. What does it mean? How does it work? Uh, take every damage value and add 5 or 10. Depending on which ones they want, they have which damage. Like, every attack. That increased stamina damage? Yeah. Just because uh, all damage values... Actually, since this is going on YouTube, I'll explain it. So, what if you want to figure out how much stamina damage a weapon does, get out, like, a calculator, put in the number, and then multiply it by 0.3. 30% of a base damage is how much stamina damage something will do. So, let's say, like, the Greatsword does 100 base damage on its special. Multiply that by 0.3, and you get 30. The Greatsword Special does 30 stamina damage. It's that simple. Maul. Reduced all non-special damage by 5. Haha, <laughs> they're really... You know, I that Maul stab, it was just too good. I'm glad they're nerfing it. 30 damage was just too high. 25 damage, that's a little bit. That's a little bit better. I think. That's a little bit better, I think. Uh, just in case anybody wasn't aware, this is a joke. This did not need to happen. Th this did not need to happen. Hey, at least you got the special attack, dude. Uh, new customization, Highlander Sword. I'm gonna be honest here. I've looked at all these skins quite a bit. I'm going to use the one over here. I'm going to use the one at the far left. Because I'm going to be honest here. I just don't like the way the Claymore looks on this on this thing. And this looks the least like a Claymore. Because it doesn't have the, the fancy hilt. It's a little bit shorter. It's just kind of a normal hilt.
I mean, yeah, like, these don't look bad, bad, but, like, as a claymore, they look just silly. They're too big. Uh, they're also getting an executioner sword, which, uh, I don't seem to have the picture of here. Hold on, is it, is it in my Discord? I can load it up if it's in my Discord. Let's see, where is all the stuff? There it is, I found it. Alright, here's the new greatsword skin. It's not appearing in the, uh, the stuff. And here's the executioner sword skin. Why is Braun Superman botting on Twitch? Uh, I don't think he is. I think Braun, I think Braun Superman, um, is getting botted by somebody else. Because he told me he reported his own Twitch channel. Because he's getting view botted. Uh, th this Claymore skin, it looks fine. It's fine. I like how thin these blades are, actually, on the uh, the two left ones. But I don't think I'd use it. I think I like this Y-Hander too much. Uh, I've also... Hold on, should I load up the other picture, too? I probably should. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's load up the other one, too. Just so that way it's here. Uh, War Club's also getting a new skin. It's just, it's just a stick. It's just a stick. There you go. Uh, let's see. New voices. New helmets. Uh, I hope they look good. I haven't seen them, truth be told. Uh, Falchion. Chopper variants. Ooh, boy. Messer is getting a Falk skin. Ooh, cool. Messer really needs more love. Shepherd staff. Yeah, okay. Some new face paints. A few fixes for the Warbo being broken. And now here's the really juicy stuff. <clears throat> oh, okay. G good to know. That they fucked up again. Counter windows are now variable depending on the speed of the weapon. Faster weapons now have a slightly smaller counter window. So, I... This is important. This is a big deal. And the reason this is a big deal is not because of, like... Oh, it's harder to defend myself with faster weapons. But rather... Faster weapons, if you, if you hit a counter at the very end of your counter window... It will, it'll make the counter faster. I, I talked about this in my combat guide, too. Where, like, if you get a counter at the beginning of the window or the end of the window, it does change the speed of the counter. And I believe this change could potentially make it so that issue doesn't happen. And there's not unblockable attacks. Because I'm sure at least some people have felt unblockable attacks with faster weapons. What about solar weapon counter windows? I mean, uh, they're probably either the same or maybe even longer it doesn't say they're longer but they specified that faster weapons have a smaller one but faster weapons don't really have that issue i'm sorry smaller weapons don't really slower weapons don't really have that issue so i think this is probably going to be a good change i don't even like fast weapons anyway so i don't really care It will also nerf them. Good? Good? Yes? Uh, is that a problem? Faster we uh, one handed weapons are kind of fucked up, dude. Knife and short. Ni ni dude, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Knife's really good. <laughs> knife is really good. I, it's, I pick my secondary to be the knife if I can. Like, like on Pullman, I've been picking knife instead of short sword. Knife is really good, dude. Promise. Let me take a drink real quick before I go down. You should never nerf anything. For I mean, yeah. But they're not doing that either, are they? Let me take a drink real quick. Okay. Jabbing while lost the left arm will result in a headbutt. That's cool and all. That's great. Problem. Losing the left arm doesn't matter. Oh yeah, 
Mason Vanguard gets new armor. I hope it doesn't suck. That would be that would suck, wouldn't it? If it if it's ugly. We'll find out. Uh, I think they need to make some changes so that way if you lose your right arm, you can do some more stuff. Because right now, if you if you lose your left arm, who cares? If you lose your right arm, uh, that sucks because then you can't do anything. When lost, when having lost an arm, being attacked on the other arm will result only in dismemberment and not a loss in HP. Huh? Huh? Well, uh, okay. Whatever you say. Fix an issue with ragdolls. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Vanguard. Ambusher backstab damage increased from 35% to 50%. Increased throwing knife damage. Well, great. That just means more fucking stamina when I block something. <laughs> I'm not excited about that. You can be a, you can be a real fucking cunt with throwing knives. Hey, it's super easy. You you just like you just pelt people. And if they block it, they lose like the same. They 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 lose like stamina for blocking the knives. Without being able to really do anything about it. And then you can't really counter it reliably if the person knows what they're doing. But I, most people don't really know what they're doing. Anyway, I'm not excited about that. The more projectile shit that's added, the worse the game gets. But it's that's not a huge deal. Clarified some class descriptions. Yeah, good. Devastator gets the Highlander sword. I'm not sure if the, if the subclass Highlander is going to be added before the update launches or if this is just the permanent plan to just have it on devastator if highlander sword is on devastator that's good that's good for highlander sword if it gets its own subclass that doesn't have the devastator like movement speed bonus then that's not good for it and it i mean if the weapon's good it's fine it doesn't really matter but but i i think devastator is just the best class for non one handers, man at arms being the best class for one handers. I'm really glad, though, because this is going to make it a lot more fun to use. Because Highlander Sword probably weighs like 200,000 pounds. And it's going to make every character that picks it up much slower. And Devastator is just going to fly around like a, like a fucking child on sugar. Footman, engineer, increase the instance of constructible barricade from two to four, but the the limit you can carry stays the same. Okay, uh, sure, that's a nice buff for engineer. Can't complain. As as long as they don't break on their own like they do, they probably still will. That's not that bad. That's fine. Although it is going to make defense even stronger if you can use it right. Officer added great sword to primary loadout. I, you know, no reason to play Vanguard and duels anymore. For for uh, at least this weapon. Devastator is the best class to use great sword. Let me let me say that real quick. Devastator does greatsword better than knight does. But getting shot by archers sucks and getting stabbed by long swords sucks. And knight is not going to have to deal with any of the problems that Vanguard has to deal with. So there's root. Yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah. I'm still probably going to pick Vanguard for Greatsword. But, you know. Fix an issue with weapon unlocks. Fix an issue where you could get no primary weapon if shuffle. What? 
Fixed an issue where knights could spawn with no primary weapon when shuffle mode was enabled. That's a bug. I, uh, man, new bugs every day. I didn't even find this one. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. There's bugs all over. Bots no longer add the combo chain score count. Well, that's going to make farming worse. For people who like to farm in beginner mode. Which, I mean, I don't really need to. I've got a million dollars. I, I've literally got a million dollars. I don't need to farm. But if you did like to farm, uh, well, you know, tough titty. Fix an issue where picking up dagger would not bind to an inventory slot. Yeah, I felt that a couple times. Disabled early overhead tracers to prevent instant overheads. That just means, if you don't know what that means, it means that, like, overheads were hitting too fast in some cases, and they seem to just... F they said they fixed it. Players can now drop and throw weapons out of combat. Okay. Arrows and bolts are now automatically picked up when walked over, because Archer needed to be even easier. Zooming in with a ranged weapon is now only available to the subclasses with the focus perk. So, this is a good thing. But, this doesn't fix a problem that exists. The problem is, if you are playing Knight, Vanguard, even Footman, you can pick up a bow and get some arrows. And now you're a better archer. This makes it so you can't zoom in anymore while playing those classes and having a bow. But it still doesn't stop you from just picking it up and being a better archer regardless. I don't need to zoom in to, sh to shoot my bow. I can still just blast into a crowd of people and not care with crossbow. Like, I don't care. So they, like, soft addressed the, the problem, but in typical torn banner fashion did not actually fix the problem but i mean you know baby steps as long as this update doesn't add a thousand bugs new bugs then i suppose it's not a huge deal it, it, this is not a negative change it's just not it, it's just the babiest of baby steps new map it looks wacko what it what even is gonna the objective on this is it gonna be like to knock over stones what's the objective on the all right look at this look at this picture what is the objective what are we doing <laughs> kill druids i mean maybe Ooh, King of the Hill sounds good. All right. Dave, you probably shouldn't have said that. Dave, I think you're going to get in trouble. Dave, I... Dave, I think you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> Okay, sure. All right, so you go up there and you kill the VIPs. Got it. Fix an issue where defenders would spawn as peasants if expect accepting the forward spawn prompt on the final objective stage. Yeah, I really wondered why they did that. I was really wondering why they would make it. So when you're like the last people on Coxwell, it's like, hey, would you like to forward spawn? And you go, okay. Sure. And then it like removes you from the from the game. Yeah, cool. Fixing a VO problem, fix another VO problem, yeah, whatever. Wide debris ramp during gatehouse capture stage. Uh I think that means the like the the left ramp when you're pushing on the masons. But it's like kind of like collapsed in. I think it's gonna make it just easier to climb up, sure. Whatever. Open up side paths on the side of the ruins gate. Huh. Well, whatever. I might that might be nice. 
No improvements to uh, out of combat zones on this map, which is a shame. Or spawns, which is a shame, but you know. Made bridge at the end of the ruins wider. I don't exactly know what they mean, but sure. Change map layout at the change the map layout to the back of the throne. Hmm. Well, all right. Improved bot navigation, who cares? Fallmire, TO, change the overall map layout for the final objective stage. Now that is an interesting and very vague patch note. I really wonder what they're talking about. Split single spawner on Agatha side into two during the second gate objective stage. Uh huh? Wait, second. Oh, I see. They're 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 spawning people like closer to the left and right side on the uh, the where you bring the petards to the gate to blow it up. Fighting pit adjusted uh, collision. Okay. Added noble female peasants. Okay. Improved bot navigation on ships. Alright. Adjusted spectator camera boundaries. Okay. They made the map run better. They did it! God bless. Increased the gate's main health from 20,000 to 20... 22,500. Added more female peasants. Who cares? What's the point of the AI I don't know. They don't really do anything. Fix an out of combat issue during the beginning of the defend the gate stage to allow Agatha to retreat all the way to the gate as needed. Okay. Delayed the combat zone changes for attackers at the start of the banner stage. Probably gonna. I hope that does what I think they're saying it does. Because I hate it when people go break the uh, the banners really early, and then it makes it so you can't fight on the bridge. That sucks. Mason bot. Who cares? Who cares about bots? Rudhelm, stage two. Defender spawns moved back slightly. Probably a good thing. That objective's really easy to hold when it actually works. Or, well, when people are coordinated, is what I meant to say. Stage 4. Increased score given to attacker per capture tick. I think that's for the ramps. Yeah, that would be the ramps. Widen the main keeps gates. Okay. We're all fixed an, an issue with stones. Okay. Let's see. Fix an issue where defenders would receive capture score even after fully re recapturing an objective. Wait, they never fixed that? Oh, well, it's fixed now. Team Deathmatch, change default tickets number to 75. Woo! Fucking hate Team Deathmatch. Let's go! <laughs> I, f I hate Team Deathmatch. Free for all, class limits. Less archers. No archers. Thanks. Team switching. Adjusted team swapping. At the, at the start of the match, a player will only be allowed to switch teams manually if your previous team, including yourself, has at least two more players than the other team. Not allowing archers on dual saver, servers is a mistake. Yeah, I don't agree. You, you miss like 10% of people fucking around. <laughs> you know what people use archer on, on dual servers for? Griefing. The the one percent of people that like go on to like play archer melee in duels, it doesn't fucking matter. By the way, hi everybody that I haven't said hi to. Auto balance is not affected by this chain. Okay. Wait, I didn't I didn't actually read this. 
At the start of the match, a player will only be allowed to switch team manually if your previous team, including yourself, has at least two more players on the other team. Well, fucking son of a bitch! Now I gotta play defense! I don't want to play defense, I want to play attack, because it's more fun! If your previous team has 32 players, including yourself, and the other team has 30, you are allowed to switch manually. Okay, so you can't- you- you have to be, like, evening the- you have to be evening the teams, you can't actually, like... You can't actually just switch to the thing you want. Which, I mean, some people don't really understand that, like, I just don't have any fun on defense because, like Peon said just now, if I'm on defense, I just win on the first, like, objective 99% of the time. That's not, that's an exaggeration. Like, I win a lot on the first objective if I actually want to defend it. And then it's just not fun because the map ends in five minutes. And then we go to the next map. Like, that sucks. <laughs> Fix an issue where enabling slash disabling crossplay would sometimes not save the in-game settings. Haha, <laughs> console. Made improvements to the regular and crossplay disabled matchmaking to make it easier to get into matches. Okay. Alright, so there's a uh, there's going to be a playlist for the new map. This is going to be two playlists for the new map. Brawl has been removed from the 40 peak free for- They already did that! Standalone dual service. Remove Fighting Pit and added free for all Warden Glade. Yeah, I think- well, I think Warden Glade's a much better dual map than Fighting Pit. Thanks. Fixed an issue where party invites could not be sent or received on Windows 11. That's probably not their fault, truth be told. But still... <laughs> how? Fix an issue where a player could attempt to join s servers that have less open slots than their party size. Fix an issue where party invites would not always be sent out when inviting multiple players. Fix an issue where the party leader would not be unable to connect to standalone servers. They didn't seem to fix the uh, the party issue where people appear online when they're not online. Performance and crash fixes. Fix the stuttering issue when view distance is set to low or medium while in first person. How? How do you do that? Alright, there's a couple of animation things that I know are in here that I want to read. Animation issue involving slight dodge after movement direction from a sprint. This would not play server side, causing attacks to hit slash miss when they sh visibly shouldn't to the player. Okay. Fix an issue where player and bot movement would not animate properly when viewed from a distance. Fix third person slash wind up when looking downwards. This is the big one. This change is aimed at making slashes and overheads more readable when players look down to initiate an attack. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, in in higher level duels, that's pretty much the only way to make your attack ambiguous. Would be to look up or down with uh, overheads and slashes. Uh, that's going to make it a easier if they did it a good job. So that's nice. Although it does buff defense too, which is bad. I think defense needs a bit of a nerf. But they did just reduce the counter window on faster weapons. So, I mean, it seems like we're getting that a little bit. Adjusted strafing animation when moving at slower speeds. Okay. Fixed issue with the shield when crouching with a rapier in first person. I should look, I should check that out today. Because I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Fix an issue with the fire particle effect would not appear when drawing an arrow inside the brazier's ignition, vol ignition volume. Okay. Lower the wind-up slash draw animation speed for the following weapons. Wait. Lowered the throwing wind-up. Ah! Danax throws even faster! If I'm, if I'm not reading this incorrectly, it appears Danax is going to be even faster than it was before.
I hope I'm reading this wrong. I hope I'm incorrect here, because that... No, they've lowered the speed. Well, no, it says lower the wind-up. Made it slower. Well, if, if you're right and they made it slower, then good. If, I, if I'm wrong and it's slower, then good. If I'm wrong and it's faster, or I'm sorry, if I'm right and it's faster, then bad. We'll find out, won't we? Fix an issue where VO previews would play and overlap on mouse over. Okay. Adjusted cinematic VO levels for Brawl. Fix an issue with peasants. Okay. Fix some issues. Let's see. I'm just going to skim through these a little bit. Added a news button to the main menu. Who cares? Added a banner behind the Chivalry 2 icon. <laughs> Is patch live? No. Uh, th there, there's going to be a test tomorrow for PC players, and I'll be, you know, streaming it. And then uh, if the test goes well, it probably won't be too far out. Death screen UI will now list the same players. Instead of the oh, that's good. Uh, let's see. Fix backend issues. Oh, yeah. I'm glad they fixed that bug. And uh, that appears to be it. Sorry, test for what? Uh, this test... This is a... Um, this is the upcoming patch. And we are going to be testing it tomorrow. Like, as a public test on PC. Which, I'll, which means I'll be able to play this tomorrow. And uh, stuff. Okay, well, there we go. 